have the new five channel lamp from Pioneer, the GMD 9605, and we're going to tell you all about it. So stay tuned. So let's open it up and take a look, shall we? Okay. Alright, so what is in the box? We have a owner's manual. That's right, the all important owner's manual. Okay. We also have a little bag. In it is the four channel high level input. Okay. Consequently, it uses the same colors that a factory uh, wiring harness adapter would. So you have your gray, white, purple, and green. That's good. Yep. You have the, this comes with a base knob, so you mm -hmm. have your phone cable for the base knob. Now the base knob is actually taped to the bottom the of the box. box. Let's grab that. Okay. So here's the base knob right here. And then they also give you, this comes in a little bubble, and as you can see, there's the tape, tape to the bottom of the box, so it doesn't roll around and scratch the ant. Come bubble wrap, and then there's also a bag with two Allen keys and four screws, because this uses Allen keys, which we'll show you. All right, okay. so all the amps come with cool, protective, scratchy stuff on it, because it's got a uh, shiny. shiny, shiny top. Uh, this is modeled after the current GMD series amplifiers, so if you've ever seen one of those, this looks identical to it. Uh, it's basically about the same size as the, the sub-amp. I think it's a little... The 9601. Yeah, 9601. Mm -hmm. uh, it is 12 inches across, it is 2 and 3 eighths inch thick, and it is 7, I'm sorry, yeah, 7 and 7 and 7 eighths. 7 and 7 eighths? Yes. <laughs> okay. Wide. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this thing down. We're gonna take a little close-up action for you. We'll take it right here from the middle. These are your inputs. You have channel A, channel B, and subwoofer. Over here, you have the high-level input. Now, let's say you're going to hook it up to a factory deck and it only has front and rear, left and right. You're going to come over here to the input selector for subwoofer and you're gonna put it on A plus B. What that'll do is that'll allow you to use just these four inputs and or the high level inputs and generate a subwoofer signal internally inside the amplifier. Now if for some reason you want to just use a single input, say let's say you're going to plug a Bluetooth dongle into this, you're not going to use a radio, you can use this switch right here which is the input selector and you can select inputs A or input selection A and B. And what that'll do is if you flick this to A, plug whatever you want into here, and if you have this at A plus B, that'll auto fill all these inputs so that you can just literally only plug one input into the amplifier, which is kind of cool if you need it for something like that. Otherwise, you could plug all six inputs in if you have a head unit that has six channel preamp output. Now some head units only have, they have four channel preamp output where channels three and four is a subwoofer. So you'd want to plug that into subwoofer. You'd want to leave this input selector on subwoofer. You'd want to plug the front into A and you'd want to put this on input A. That'll automatically allow the rear to be paired with A and then you can use the subwoofer volume control on the head unit if you wish. All right, let's talk about some other features. You got all that? Awesome. All right. This guy right here is for the subwoofer volume control. This is channel A. It mirrors over here on channel B. You have a crossover that is variable between 40 hertz and 500 hertz. You have the option to do low pass as well as high pass or off. And then you have your input sensitivity between 6.5 volts and 0.2 volts. B is gonna be identical down here you have your subwoofer crossover. So you have a subwoofer crossover frequency between 40 and 500 hertz and 12 to 24 dB slope. Now the slope on the high pass crossover is 12 dB. The one unique thing about the subwoofer channel in this amplifier is there is no on and off for it. The subwoofer crossover is always on. There's no way to turn it off unlike the high pass that you can turn them off or make them low pass. Over here is the gain for the subwoofer. There again it matches the input sensitivity of the rest of the amplifier 
at 6.5 volts to 0 0.2 volts. And then of course you have your power light. Uh, this will light up blue if everything is cool. And it'll light up red if the amp is dead. So it uses three 30 amp fuses. It has a four gauge input. It has a 12 gauge input for the subwoofer channel. And it has little 16 to 18 gauge inputs for the speakers. You have A, you have B. You can bridge both channels A and B. So if you'd like to make it a three channel system, you can. We'll talk about power output in a second. Uh, the one thing I can tell you about Pioneer amplifiers is in a dark car, you're going to want to use a light because these are very hard to see. Power wise, it's 75 watts by 4 okay. and 350 by 1 at 4 ohms at 14.4. Okay. Now it will do 2 ohms on all the channels, in which case you have 100 watts by 4 and 600 watts by 1. Okay. They're again at four, 2 uh, ohms at 14.4. Now, like we said, you can make it a three channel amp where you can bridge one and two and three and four and make it 200 by four at four ohm. Okay. And then of course, whatever you decide to do on the sub side, um, it's a lot of power. All right, so we talked about that. Gain input sensitivity, we covered frequency response. Uh, the frequency response, I mean the, the sound quality of the amplifier is on uh, channels one through four is 10 Hertz. To 50,000 Hertz Wow! and then on the sub channel it is 10 Hertz to 500 Hertz signal to noise is 94 DB um, and uh, distortion is 0.05 percent yeah you know pretty much all that stuff is about normal um, that's about it it's a nice little lamp it's compact size yeah you know you could fit it under a seat if you needed to or in the trunk uh, it'll power up you know, power up a nice little system. You could put a set of separates, a coaxial, and a, you know, possibly two tens, maybe one big twelve, off of this guy, and have a great sound. You know, yeah, it's pretty versatile as far as the input goes. Anything you can add? Uh, well, that's nice. That's it. Oh, that's what you're gonna add. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> nice. Awesome. Hey guys, uh, it's a quick one. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the amplifier, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and we'll answer them for you. Uh, where can they find us? Uh, you guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. That's right. Uh, hey, have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah, you have.